Hello, everybody. How are you? This is Pastor Paul. Welcome to another edition of Principles in Prayer. I am really, really glad to be with you all, especially after the amazing weekend that we were just a part of here at Real Life Christian Fellowship Church. It was outstanding from the children to the skit, the original skit that was done by our team. I am just so very grateful to have been a part of such an amazing resurrection weekend. As we are beginning now to move away from the celebration of the resurrection weekend, um, I want us to keep in mind how powerful the resurrection is in the life of all believers. Remember, without the resurrection, the reservations that have been made for us as believers in the heavens could not be possible. God made the ultimate sacrifice in giving his son so that all of us might be able to experience life and life more abundantly. The scriptures tell us that Jesus came to destroy the works of the devil. I want you to remember that, that every work of the devil, our arch enemy, has been destroyed through the work of Christ on the cross of Calvary. And his resurrection gained us victory over death, hell and the grave, but uh, 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 let's not forget over sin as well. The first Adam made a mistake. He decided that he was going to choose for himself what was best and that he was going to partake of the tree that God had explicitly told him that he was not to partake of. But the second Adam, Christ, Jesus, our Messiah, he came to set right what Adam messed up. I want to tell you something today. Whatever in your life is messed up, out of order, difficult, Jesus can set it right. Today, I'm asking you to not just put your faith in Christ for your salvation, but put your faith in him for your healing, for your deliverance, for your provision. Whatever you need, Christ is able to do it. That's the word for today. Whatever you need, if you need defense, he is that. I'm telling you, he can do it for you. He will do it for you. Put your faith and your trust and your confidence in him to be what you need him to be. His word promises us that he will never leave us, nor will he forsake us, that he will always be there for us. That's the promise that he made to us. Receive it on today. Heavenly Father, we thank you so much, God, for giving, for you giving your son on the cross to redeem us from our sins, but not just for the redemption of our sins, but to change the course of our life and to change our eternity. Lord, we are so grateful for healing, for deliverance, for salvation, for protection and provision. All that you do for us, God, we are grateful for it. And we say thank you today. We love you, Father, and we give you all of the glory today. And for every person, Lord, who's watching this particular episode of Principles in Prayer, that's going through something, that's facing uncertainty at this time in their life. I pray that you would release your presence to where they are right now and that they will be able to feel your tangible presence in the room with them, Lord. Please, Lord, give them the assurance that you are there with them and that you are there for them and that there's nothing that they face that you are unable to bring them through. Lord, we thank you for that, and we give you all of the glory in Jesus' name. Amen. Hey, everybody, that is this week's edition of Principles in Prayer. I hope the principles that have been shared with you today have been a blessing to you, and I pray that today's prayer has brought you the comfort and encouragement you need. God bless you. Until next time, peace.